Shalom. Call Loyum, Wakabala, Yahawa, Bashim Yahushar, Bashim or Kakwadash. Double honest to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations until the old four elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. Stay away from her. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Stay away from her. Because this is what you'll get. You know, if uh, she feel wronged, you know, if she doesn't get her way, she's going to let her emotions overtake her, which is very dangerous. This woman here, she took it upon herself because she was uh, upset with her, 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 her dude. And instead of, uh, you know, reconciling you know, like adults, she decided to leak his banking information all on Twitter and uh, basically caused many people to commit fraud because you had some idiots that saw that information, jotted down the information, and basically started committing fraud with that information. And she didn't think none of it through because she was being emotional and not thinking, which is what a lot of them do. When they get upset, their emotions take over. And Satan basically uses them like a helm of a ship. So stay away from them, man. All right, and this is, I'm going to play this. This is on uh, Instagram. This is from uh, D.L. Hughley's Instagram. And uh, this woman right here is explaining what actually happened. And um, this is, you know, when when you're used to never receiving the consequences of your actions, you'll do stuff like this. A lot of these women, they're, they're accustomed to just doing anything that they feel, doing, you know, whatever, because they're not going to get any backlash or there's not going to be any action taken. Well, she thought wrong because action is now being uh, taken. She's now under federal investigation, which is good. So I'm going to play the video and then uh, we'll return and definitely get some scriptures. Upset with her man, goes on Twitter and puts out all of his banking information. I'm talking checking number, routing number, a bank card, pen, everything. And Twitter, the scammers go crazy. People are literally paying their rent, paying their car note, door dashing food. They're literally clearing out this man's bank account. And all this woman has to say for all of her crimes is this. You see that? I feel complete. No, sis, the only thing you're about to complete is a jail sentence. This woman. Dumbass. Like I said, stay away from her. Stay away from her, man. All right. She, she's very toxic. When they get angry and they get upset and their emotions take control, she's a deadly force, man. All right, now let me get a quick script, of course. <clears throat> this is uh, the book of Sirach 25 in verse 13. You know, I wouldn't want to deal with this, man. I'd rather, you know, be free than have to deal with that. Uh, Sirach 25 and 13, it says, give me any plague, but the plague of the heart and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. And uh, man, you know, dude, he, he, he learned his lesson. All right. And, you know, she dealt with him in, in wrath and he got to see that. Basically got this dude for everything that he that he had just because she was angry. You know, why even uh, acquaint yourself with such a creature, man? 
but dudes they get blinded by the the, the fake beauty. All right, and and you know men don't know how to contain themselves. We know the scriptures say not to uh, stumble at the beauty of a woman. All right, but uh, she's in big trouble because uh, you had some uh, people that had some kind of integrity, character that reported what she was doing online, and the uh, the, the feds uh, caught wind and they conducted a, a, an investigation. So she's more than likely getting ready to see some time, and then all them idiots that that follow suit all them scammers you know they're probably going to be under investigation too because everybody that used uh dude's information they all are committing fraud now basically when you do something like that to somebody you're really trying to take away their livelihood and you take away somebody's livelihood you're taking away their living you're basically trying to uh, uh kill them that's kind of like that that's bloodshed you know Matter of fact, that's uh, in the Apocrypha. I'm going to go to Sirach, the 34th chapter. It's uh, Sirach 34 and verse uh, 21. And it says, the bread of the needy is their life. All right, you taking food off my plate? You know, you, 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 you. Uh, you know, taking my, my my daily bread. That's hey, that money is a defense, right? So you commit fraud and 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 try to empty out my account. You pretty much trying to take take my life. So that woman, that was a real evil woman right there. It says, he that defrauded him thereof is a man of blood. So that, that, that evil woman, black woman, you know, she's a woman of blood. And, and those that followed that trail of what she did, <laughs> they're, they're of blood. They got blood on their hands. That woman said that people were uh, paying car notes and, and rent with dudes money. Our people are there. They're, and I, I guarantee you it was a bunch of niggas. Our people are that wicked, man. They're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. You know, we're a, a, a nation full of uh, evildoers, man. It says, he that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him, and he that defraudeth the labor of his hire is a blood shedder. And as you know, they're trying to, you know, take that man's livelihood just because she's upset. So I hope uh, I hope they do come down and find every perpetrator and and, and, and they uh, prosecute everybody involved. I don't even know the dude like that. You know, for all I know, he's probably a wicked dude, too, because the scriptures say uh, uh, a wicked woman is giving a portion to a wicked man. You know, why would you be, uh, uh, you know, attracted to such a, a, a creature, man? You know, but he 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 learned the hard way. All right, and let me get a, a scripture because when you when you commit fraud in our law, you're supposed to uh, repay that with interest. So Leviticus uh, was it the sixth chapter? I'm gonna go to the NLT on it. But when, when you steal something or when you extort or commit fraud or whatever the case may be, you got a, uh, well, in the law, you know, you, you had a, a guilt offering, but you also have to repay what you took. And it sounded like dude had, had money. Like he had a, a, a lot of money for that many people to, you know, be paying up bills and, 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 and paying a rent with, and you know, with, with whatever was in his account, dude made it made some decent amount of money, and she tried to destroy that man just because she was upset. He, some of these women, they need a a, a fifty a fifty one fifty evaluation, man. Some of these chicks, they just not right in the head. 
So they might need to be held for uh, a psychiatric uh, evaluation at least 72 hours. A lot of these chicks are dealing with, with, with mental illness. All right. It ain't safe to be around some of them. Leviticus 6 and 1, it says, Then the Lord said unto, said to Moses, this is in the NLT, it says, Suppose one of you sins against your associate and is unfaithful to the Lord. Suppose you cheat in a deal involving a security deposit, or you steal or commit fraud, or you find lost property and lie about it, or you lie while swearing to tell the truth, or you commit any other such sin. If you have sinned in any of these ways, you are guilty. And that 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 demon, she's guilty, and all those people, you know, who who participated in in that fraud, you know, using dudes' uh, information, routing numbers, and 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 pin numbers, and 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 you know, making purchases, you know, because you got people that that do that, you got idiots that that try to make a living finessing people. Committing fraud, to, uh, stealing people's information and using it for themselves. And they'll go and, 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 and you know, spend off on, uh, uh, you know, take out, you know, they'll order uh, DoorDash with it, you know, or they'll uh, pay some bills with it. All this shit is digital. You don't think they can, they ain't going to be able to crack down and, and, and trace you through uh, your activities? All these activities are, are uh, uh, digitally transactioned, so it can easily be traced. But they don't think it through because of their greed. It says, you must give back whatever you stole or the money you took by extortion or the security deposit or the lost property you found or anything obtained by swearing falsely. You must make restitution by paying the full price plus an additional 20% to the person you have harmed. On the same day, you must present a guilt offering. And this is, you know, I'm just reading this for the sake of edification because this is in our law. We got laws dealing with all type of uh, scenarios. All right. But she's guilty and those that participated are guilty. And normally they would have to repay all that. But. You know, under this system, they're more than likely going to end up doing time in, in a good form. Especially her. All right. These women feel like they could just do whatever the hell they please because society, uh, you know, coddles them. All right. Let me get a uh, Colossians three. And twenty five. And it says, but he that doeth wrong, and that, that applies to male or female, he or she that doeth wrong, shall receive for the wrong which he or she have done, and there is no respect of persons. All right, the scriptures uh, tell us, you know, render to no man evil for evil. You know, we don't know what the dude did, and it ain't even our business. But it couldn't have been, I mean, like, come on, man. That's just straight evil. And these chicks are they're 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 that uh they're that fragile when it comes to their their ego, man. When they feel like they've been wrong, they go overboard with trying to repay you, trying to get some kind of uh, vengeance. They don't know how to just walk away from situations or rectify. They just they just gotta do something. They try to destroy you. You know, so that's why going back to that in Sirach 25, you know, give me any plague, but the, but the plague of the heart and any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. Because they, I mean, they, they can, they can do it all, man. You know, and until you aqua off, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure y'all even understand, you know, but y'all, y'all repented, y'all not, you know. Stay on the righteous path, man. Look at look at this behavior from afar and see why a lot of these women in this society are not going to make it. The majority of them, they're not going to make it out of here. It's going to be pretty, pretty bad. 
There's a, there's a, there's going to be a, a, a murderous spirit that's on these men. And you're going to get to see uh, Micah 710 play out in real time. All right, live, live and in color. Matter of fact, let me get that. It's uh, Micah 7 and 10. It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? You know, and, and a lot of these women just with their, their mentality alone, they act as if there's not a higher God that's, you know, uh, 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 watching over them they got this this goddess diva attitude where they just they could just do what the hell they want to do say what the hell they want to uh, say they don't respect order here they don't respect their men or anything and the lord he he set up the order where the man is the head of, of the woman they don't respect that order so in retrospect they they disrespect the heavenly father so her, her that with that rebellious mindset, she might as well have she might as well say, "Where is the Lord thy God? Where is your power?" I don't re, I don't respect it. Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, and uh, we gonna see that play out live and in action, man. And Lord willing, this be that year because, hey, Lord willing, this is the hopeful year of, of, of Jacob's trouble. When that time comes, when, when the time of Jacob's trouble hit, it's, it's going to be all bad for our people and especially a lot of our women. All right. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to make this a super long video, but. You know, I had to, I had to, you know, do a quick little response to that. It was wicked, man. Just, just, just people just can't, they, they can't get it together. That's that evil eye, according to the curse. You know, the, the man having an evil eye towards his woman, the woman having an evil eye towards her husband. Try to do the most evil shit to each other. Don't know how to, you know, solve issues like mature adults. Don't know how to, you know, be rational. And you can't control your emotions, man. Anything can happen. And these women, they live, they, they, they live with their emotions on their sleeve. It's like their, their emotions is the helm of their flesh. It, it, it controls them. So this is the result, and now she's being investigated, and I'm pretty sure she's about to do some time. Because she was stupid, and the people that, that you know, they they hopped on it like it was a lick and and, 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 and took opportunity and participated. Now they all look looking like they're going to get traced and found out. So, yeah, man, stay away from her, man. That's probably what I'm gonna entitle this this lesson, man. Stay away from her, all right. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna just leave it with that, man. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to to Yahweh Shmuel Shai. Until the next lesson, Shalom.